So this is astrophysics, this is surveying the stars lesson 11, this is the final one for this topic area. This is Schwarzschild's radius and the galactic centre. Galactic centre being the centre of a galaxy. So Schwarzschild's radius, so the size of a black hole is defined as the distance from its centre at which light, uh, the escape speed is equal to that of light. So it's known as Schwarzschild's radius. The equation, Schwarzschild's radius is equal to 2gm divided by c squared. So that's on the data sheet. It's the exact same equation as the escape velocity equation from gravitation. It's just that we use speed of light instead of, you know, an arbitrary velocity. So the surface of the sphere, defined by the Schwarzschild's radius, is also called the event horizon. Because nothing that occurs inside this boundary can be observed on the outside. And that's the simple fact that light cannot escape with the information. So we can't see anything. Hence the name black hole. So the centre of it is called a singularity. And then you've got the Schwarzschild's radius. Right, so a quick question. Should be straightforward, this one. Take you through it. So calculate. I've put calculate the four. That's obviously wrong. Let's calculate four, a black hole of mass three times the sum. It's Schwarzschild's radius and its mean density inside its event horizon. So we're going to use Schwarzschild's equation, 2 gem over c squared. So 2 times the gravitational constant from gravitation. 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, multiplied by the mass, which we've got here is 3 times the mass of the sun, and then divided by the speed of light squared. And that'll give you a Schwarzschild's radius of 8.89 kilometers. Then for density, so mass over volume. So first of all, we need to get the volume, which is obviously a sphere. So that's 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 thirds times the Schwarzschild's radius in meters. Cube that, it gives a volume of 2.94 times 10 to the 12 cubic meters. And density is mass over volume. So we've got the mass, the mass is three times the mass of the sun. So six times 10 to the 30 kilos. Remember that's on the data sheet in astronomical data. And that should give a mean density inside the event horizon of 2.03 times 10 to the power of 18 kilograms per cubic meter. All right, let's move on. So, galactic centre. So, supermassive black holes are thought to exist at the centres of most galaxies, including the Milky Way. And the mass of such black holes can be estimated by measuring the orbital speeds of stars close to that centre. So, in the case of the Milky Way, it's estimated to be around 2.6 million solar masses. If you're interested, Sagittarius A is the location of the supermassive black hole at the centre of the Milky Way. All right, let's do another question. So, going to pause and have a go at this one. So, same again, relatively straightforward. Calculate for the black hole at the centre of the Milky Way of mass 2.6 million times the mass of the Sun. Firstly, the Schwarzschild's radius and then the mean density inside its event horizon. So, we're going to use Schwarzschild's equation, 2 gem over c squared. So 2 times gravitational constant times the mass, which is 2.6 times 10 to the 6 times the mass of the sun, which is given below, 2 times 10 to the 30. Divide that by speed of light squared. And that gives the Schwarzschild's radius much, much larger than the previous black hole, 7.71 million kilometres. Density, same as last time, so we need the volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Put the numbers in, use the answer from above, 7.71 times 10 to the 9 meters, cube that, times it by 4 thirds pi, you get a volume of 1.92 times 10 to the power of 30 cubic meters. Then density is mass over volume, so the mass is 2.6 million times the mass of the sun, divided by the volume that you just calculated. So the mean density inside the event horizon is 2.71 times 10 to the 6 kilograms per cubic meter, which is obviously much lower than in the previous example. So it's 10 to the power of 12 times lower than the low mass star, the three times the, well, the black hole, three times the mass of the sun in the previous question. Anyway, I hope you've uh, learned something there and thanks for watching.